A few months ago, my beloved, talented, kind-hearted husband, Oren, went to work and did not return. He was only 37, a promising cardiologist and researcher, considered exceptional and loved by all, especially by myself, our three small kids, his parents and sisters. He suffered sudden cardiac arrest, alone in a small room in one of the leading cardiology departments, and outside the door were the exact people and a defibrillator that could have saved his life. A month before Oren's horrifying death, he started taking photos of defibrillators that he saw on public grounds. He tried to raise the public's awareness through his popular Twitter account, stating that anyone could save lives. Little did we know what was awaiting just around the corner. 10,000 people in Israel experience cardiac arrest a year. 9,400 of them will die. 300 will be brain damaged. Only 300 will live. We are a country highly aware of security threats, of car accidents, and of the possibility of sudden attacks. We are well equipped and prepared, and yet completely unaware of the silent killer that lives within so many of us. Israel is highly lacking in defibrillators in public areas. In countries with sufficient distribution, the survival rate increased from 3 to 60 percent. That's almost 6,000 lives in Israel a year. Help me, together with Magen David Adom, continue what Oren should have been here to do. Help me save lives just as he did, just as his could have been saved. Help me place as many defibrillators as possible on public grounds in Oren's name and save thousands of lives a year. Enter the link, donate, save lives.